doing? <laughs> well, Jeffy, I just got done cleaning out the attic, and I found an old box of stuff from when I grew up. You want to see? Yeah, Danny, what's in the box? Uh, oh, look, my old Pac-Man machine. I used to play this for hours. I loved it. That's so cool, Danny. Can I see it? Well, yeah, you can play with it, do whatever you want with it. I'm going to check this bitch. What? <laughs> Jeffy, do not throw my stuff! I'm sorry, Danny. It's old and sentimental and stuff. It means something to me. Oh, oh look! <laughs> my old guitar! I used to pick up so many women with this. Oh, that's so cool, Danny! Can I see it? Yeah, I don't even know how to play it. <clears throat> what? Jeffy, I said do not throw my stuff! I'm sorry, Danny, I forgot! I picked up women with that! Oh, uh, oh look! My old pencil girlfriend! One of the girls I picked up with my guitar, you know. Oh, can I see it, Danny? No, I used to make out with her. You're not gonna touch her. No. Oh, look! <laughs> My old joke toothpaste. Aw, oh, damn it, Daddy! You got toothpaste on the couch. What's a joke, Jeffy? It's not real. Wow. Oh, look! And my old, uh, my old teddy bear. I used to take him everywhere. I loved him. Oh, Daddy! Can I please see a teddy bear? He looks so cute. What? Well, no, Jeffy. I, I love it. It was my best friend. I, I don't want you to get him dirty or anything. Daddy, I won't get him dirty. I just want to see how soft he is. Yeah, look, you can hold him, but you oh, can't have him. Oh, Daddy! I love the bear so much. Can I please have him? No. He was my bear, and he's my best friend, and no one else can have him. No one can touch him. But Daddy, I love him so much. Can I please have the berry? Please. Well, I mean, I am old, and I have no use for him, but he was my best friend. Please, Daddy. All right, fine, Jeffy. You can have the bear, but you, you better not lose him. Ah! Oh, thank you so much, Daddy. I love the berry so much. Give me a Mr. Berry going to park. Yeah, just don't get him dirty, and just please be safe with him. He was my best friend growing Yay! up. Yay! Let's go to the park, Mr. Berry! <sighs> Sometimes it's got to grow up, you know. <laughs> All right, Mr. Barry, you ain't have fun in the park? Let's go! All right, Mr. Barry, you wanna play hide and seek? I'll go hide and you count. Uh, Jeffy, uh, how long you been standing there? Oh, not long, Daddy. Just long enough to see you stick that pencil in your butt. Well, no, no, I didn't do that. I accidentally sat on it. I thought you were supposed to be at the park. Well, we were, Daddy. But, uh, but Barry told me something. So we came home early. Go ahead and tell him what you said, Barry. Oh, uh, Jeffy's a way better owner than you are, Daddy. All you did was keep me in a box for years. And Jeffy took me to a park and got me ice cream and shit. Well, Jeffy, that's, that's really nice that you did all that for Mr. Barry. But he had to go in the box because we were playing hide and seek for a very long time. But, yeah, so can you just leave me alone so I can have private time with a pencil? All right, Daddy, but real quick, can I take Mr. Barry to school? Yeah, you can do whatever you want with him. Just don't lose him or get him dirty or, 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 or destroy him, okay? Okay, Daddy. Come on, Mr. Barry. I'm going to show you to all my friends. Okay, where's that pencil at? All right, Crass. Today, we're going to be answering the question, why did the chicken cross the road? Very simple answer as to why chicken cross the road. Everyone knows the chicken crossed the road to get to the egg roll on the other side. Egg roll very delicious and the chicken knows it. Very delicious egg roll. <gasps> the chicken crossed the road to get to the egg roll. Did you hear that, Mr. Barry? <laughs> Are you talking to your teddy bear, you loser? Yeah, because I sure as hell ain't talking to you. <laughs> what are you, two years old? Who even brings their teddy bear to school? You can't leave your house without your teddy bear? My teddy bear's my best friend, so leave me alone. <laughs> Why? Because you don't have any real friends to hang out with? Oh, beat him up, Mr. Barry. <clears throat> <laughs> you really think your teddy bear could beat me up? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Stop it! Put him down! Leave him alone! No, he's my teddy bear now! Oh, teacher! This kid stole my bear! Ah, oh, Jeffy! Why you cry like a real bitch? Buddy Bill, give your baby back his toy so he can stop crying! Yeah, Alright, fine. Here's your bear back, you little crybaby. <laughs> Hey everyone, he can't go to school without his little toy. <laughs> yeah, who brings a toy to school, you loser? Yeah, loser. Don't listen to him, Barry. One day you're gonna be real, and you're gonna prove him all wrong. <laughs> Daddy, I had a bad day at school. Well, what happened, Jeffy? Well, people were making fun of me because I was talking to Mr. Barry. Well, Jeffy, people probably don't think it's normal for you to talk to a stuffed animal. But he's my best friend. Daddy? I know, he was my best friend too, and I got made fun of when I took him to school. So, you know, how about you just go to bed and think about it? But it's 3.30 p.m., Daddy. Or you can just go to bed and let me have some private time. But it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I, I know, perfect time to go to bed. Everyone's tired at 3.30, right? Well, what about dinner? Uh, 
It's gonna be green beans. Are you gonna eat that? No. Well, they, there you go. You should go to bed because there's nothing eating to stay up for anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh man, Mr. Barry, I wish you were real. Then you could beat up that boy that made fun of us. Then he'd really know you were real. Let's go to sleep, Mr. Barry. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Wake up. Anal. Jeffy, get up. It's time to go to school. <laughs> Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Just get up. <gasps> Where did my berry go? Je Jeffy, did you lose my teddy bear? You said you wanted to sleep with it, but you, you can't find it? Oh, no, Dad, he was laying right here. And now he's not here. Jeffy, you better not have lost my teddy bear. That was my teddy bear from when I grew up with it. Well, Dad, I don't know where he went. He must have ran away. Well, Jeffy, look, you have to go to school. We'll find him afterwards, but you better not have lost him. Come on. <laughs> Alright class, today we're going to be learning about hibernation. Hibernation is when bear eat too much food at Chinese buffet and you have to kick his ass out. $9.99 doesn't give you the whole buffet, it only gives you two plates. And then they want to turn around and sleep for six months to let food digest. No! So the moral of the story here is kids, is that bear no longer allowed in Chinese buffet. It make us go bankrupt. <sighs> Hey loser, where's your teddy bear? I don't see it. Is it doing hibernation like the teacher said? No, he ran away. Teddy bears can't run away, retard. They're not alive. Oh, <gasps> Barry, you came back? What? 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 what, what? Oh, beat that ass, Barry! Clock him cheeks! Beat that ass, Barry! Go! Oh, that's a big bitch. You try to get more than two plays? You wanna go play hide and seek? Yay! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go hide. You count. Oh my god! Is that a bear in a park playing hide and seek with children? This is dangerous. I gotta go alert the news. Breaking news, okay? A bear is running loose at a children's park. Let's cut to our live helicopter feed now. Oh my god. What you're watching is live footage of a bear trying to eat children at a park. He can smell the blood! This is Winnie the Pooh, and he's looking for his honey. And his honey is children's blood. It now appears that he has settled for a toucan. Oh my god, if you have small children, turn them away now, as he is violating this toucan. And it also appears that we have some onlookers videotaping and laughing. Wow. What a disgrace. This is no laughing matter. I'm getting word now that police are on the scene and are going to attempt to stop this bear. Oh man, Mr. Barry, you found me! Oh my god, that bear's about to attack that child. It's a good thing I brought my gun that's just painted to look like a Nerf gun just so I could shoot it in the playground, even though it's a very real gun that fires real bullets that definitely will kill him because it's a real gun and not a Nerf gun. Get away from that kid, you son of a bitch! Bang! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's coming at me. <laughs> Stay away! Stay away! Bang! Oh, I got him! I actually got him! No! <laughs> Daddy! Ah, Jeffy! I broke my pencil! <laughs> my teddy bear got shot! Wait, wait, what? Turn on the news and find out! Well, okay. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? 
Police have shot and killed the bear that was running around the children's park. Here's Officer Brooklyn T. Guy with a statement. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Brooklyn T. Guy. I am the officer that shot and killed this bear. Uh, at the time of the attack, we thought it was a real bear, but after we get it back to the station and cut it open, we realized it's, it's just a teddy bear. It's a big old stuffed animal. Uh, we thought maybe there was a person in there, but no, no nothing. It's, it's just a big old, big old living teddy bear that was that was brought to life as if by a child's wish and nothing else. So, uh, it's dead now. So, um, oops. Shinge, look! Well, this doesn't make any sense. He wasn't alive. He's just a teddy bear. He was alive, Daddy. He was running around and we were playing at the park. Well, this doesn't make any sense, Jeffy. What? Uh, hold on, let me go into the door. Let me see what that is. Uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, I'm the cop that shot your son's living teddy bear, and I just wanted to bring you his corpse in case your son still wants to play with him. Uh, normally that would sound really bad, but he's just a stuffed animal, and now that I'm looking at him, I, I probably should have known that he was a stuffed animal, not a real bear, but I was feeling really trigger happy, and it just felt good to shoot something. But anyway, I, I, I just came to apologize, so uh, here's my apology. <laughs> Alright. I've, I've never been very good at apologies. Uh, bye. Uh, uh, oh, oh, <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, I got your teddy bear back. Oh, I liked him better when he was alive. Well, Jeffy, teddy bears aren't supposed to be alive. I mean, when I was younger, I wish he was alive, but look, now you have a huge teddy bear, and bigger is always better. That's what she said. Oh, I guess so, Daddy. Well, look, just grab him and go lay down with him. Look, you can lay on him like this. Look, you can make teddy bear angels. <laughs> yeah, just pick him up and go back to your room. Oh, man, Barry. Why'd you have to get shot? <sighs> I wish you were alive again. Oh. <laughs> Where'd your stupid giant bear? He died. <laughs> he deserved it. Barry, you're alive? Oh no. Get him off me. I got to do this. The Jeffy Puppet is now on sale. So go get yours today at smlmerch.com.